looking good, my son. Oh, thank you, friend. <laughs> What's your name? Thank you, friend. Uh, Roxy. She she must have been interesting with that man. She was moving her hand. She was smiling. Fellas, stop asking these why they single. Oh, you look too good to be single. Stop. That's that hood love story. That is that hood love story. I guarantee you tomorrow he back at the crib beating the brakes off that cat. When you see people, somebody at my damn door. When you see people having a uh, disagreement, mind your business. Mind your mother business because you gonna be the one looking stupid. No matter how bad it gets, she could stab him. She could have shot at his ass. Mind your business. I've learned my lesson. I'm not giving no two cents. No four cents, no quarters to anybody's relationship. Whatever y'all got going on, y'all got going on. Because you going to tell your homeboy, hey, bro, she ain't no good for you. Ladies, you tell your homegirl, he ain't no good for you. Right? You give her all these good reasons why this particular person is no good for them. And guess what? You guessed it. By two weeks later, they're together. Now, you an enemy of the state. You an enemy of the relationship. Mind your business. Would you rather have $5,000 or one night with me? $5,000? $5,000. I'm sorry. No, nothing, no offense to you. I ain't gonna lie. My boy look like he walking across the street. But um, to answer your question, ma'am, I'll take the $5,000 over one night with you. So last night my husband's phone was ringing over and over. So I picked it up and I answered it. When I picked it up, it was a woman on the line. I said, who is this? She said, this is Katie. I said, okay, Katie, why are you calling my husband's phone? She said, well. There's some suspicious transactions and I'm calling from American Express. I said, suspicious transactions? She said, yes, suspicious transactions from Amazon. Then I looked. I said, hold on one moment. Let me get him. I never gave him the phone. I said, hello. <laughs> How can I help you? He didn't even know I had been using his card. Ain't no damn way he was getting the phone. So last night, my husband's... You trifling. <laughs> You trifling. You trifling as hell. You trifling as hell. Hey, I'm going to keep it 100. That can't happen to me, dog. I check my joint every fucking day. It might sound wrong, but I check my joint every day. She not she not allowed because I already know she going to start. As much packages that come in here every day, I already know she going to start bugging. You heard me? The package is for you that be coming in every day? Yo, you heard me! <laughs> That's mine? That. Yo, oh shit! You heard, yo, you heard me for real? <laughs> oh, I heard was packages. 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 Oh, I heard was
packages that be coming in here every day. One of them better be for me. Yo, first up, why are you walking down them stairs so damn quiet? Babe, I walk down with the same pressure. I always walk down them stairs. I was probably talking. Hey. Exactly. You was just in your zone. Damn. <laughs> doing good so i know you you cannot be talking about me oh snap yo son that's priceless are we doing it here taking my phone what i was looking for that is priceless i'm out here talking crazy snitched on myself got caught red-handed here yeah, that's funny what y'all doing what y'all doing I wanted to check and see if the stuff I told you I was looking for, mm. if it was in that cabinet, and if it is, so. Uh, Mission retwist. Uh, it's about to be in full effect. He is so tell me when you finish recording so I can turn the water on. All right, I'm about, I'm about to be done just now. No rush, just, just tell me. Even if you got to text me or call me. I'll probably look. I'll probably do about 10 minutes more. I'm just scrolling. Okay. Okay. Yeah, my mama holding weight. That ain't gonna work. Let's yeah, go. Yeah, she holding. Okay, we have a new video. We have a new mommy next to She have this mommy. She have a trunk. Meet the singer. And I'm everything. I'm the singer. Singer, 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 the, singer. The poet, the writer, the secretary. You know. I'm every woman, it's all in me, anything you want to do, baby, I do it naturally, oh, oh, oh. Alright, yeah, I have overstayed y'all up. It's time to go. Yeah, I have overstayed y'all up. Whoa, 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 whoa. Get the fuck up and get the fuck out. Okay, okay. I'm not playing with you. You, you literally you fuck me every time, bro. I'm not sending you no fucking money until we're on the way to go get the gas. You are not fucking me. You literally kept $130 out of $210. Get the fuck up. I don't want to prejudge, but it feels as though um, the extracurricular activities might have taken away from this young lady it it really looked like she used to be something back in the day she's not even ugly now to be honest with you i don't want to blame it on the dude that she's with but it could be a possibility that's why y'all gotta pick better sometimes ladies you might put it out and run you through the ground i know the fellas ain't gonna like me saying that but it's the truth it's the truth some of y'all ain't who you think you is some of you ain't leaders some of you we get a 10, and halfway through our relationship, she's a 3. They ain't gonna like this one. But it's the truth. It's the truth. White girl look like she used to look like something back in the day. Now she missing teeth. What is this? What is this? This is so much ketchup. I can't eat that. Are you making fun of me because I'm on a diet? That was me in the video. People found out where I work, and they sent the video. I was then fired from my job. I did nothing wrong. It's good for your ass. It's good for you. Flat back. Look at her. She flat as hell. What is this? What is this? Y'all know how I feel about customer service. Y'all yeah, know how I feel about customers taking advantage of the people behind the counters. Y'all yeah, know how I feel about that. All this came from when I worked at the cookie place. Now, when I worked at Burger King, I worked in the back, so I didn't have to deal with customers like that. But when I worked at the cookie place, I worked at the mall, I worked at Perimeter Mall, and we had to deal with a whole bunch of customers. One particular incident, a young lady came over there, and uh, we have an older woman, Miss Wilma. I, I don't even know if Miss Wilma's still alive, bro. But Miss Wilma used to give out samples of the cookies. This woman came and took a sample. And afterwards, I guess she saw on the counter that it says that all the all the um cookies are made with peanut oil. And she has an, a peanut allergy. 
She got to going in, got to turning up. Now, here's where things was a little iffy, okay? She came over there, hey, can I get a cup of water? The dude that owns the company charges 25 cents for a cup of water. She's upset because Miss Wilma didn't tell her that the cookies was made out of peanut oil. Now, if you look on the thing, right where Miss Wilma was standing, it tells you, warning, these cookies are made with peanut oil. It tells you that right on the counter. The sign is about this big. So now she come over there and she's like, oh, can I get a cup of water? I'm like, it's 25 cents. It's a sign right on the thing that says it's 25 cents. She got the going the hell off. She got the going in. Got the cursing my black ass out. Now at the time, there's only so much customer service I got in me. I'm still a hood at the end of the day. So after about two minutes, I snapped. She had her baby with her, and I feel bad about it. But at the same time, I'm like, you white, who are you talking to? Fuck you. The funny shit about that is Miss Wilma took her old ass to the other side by like Dairy Queen. Even though low-key it was her fault, because she should have pointed that damn sign out. 